Performance thumb grips are nothing new to the console gaming scene, but they are new to me. Now that's not to mean I haven't used them before, but this is the first time I've had a company reach out and offer to let me review a sample of theirs. Now if you're at all familiar with this particular market segment, you should definitely be aware of Control Freak. They've had a very dominant presence in this space for a very long time. Well this other company reached out to me to offer a possible alternative. The ProHex Performance Thumb Grips sell for $12.99 on Amazon and are available through our affiliate link below. For the uninitiated, these performance thumb grips are designed to offer more precise control, especially at higher look sensitivities. Being able to change direction quickly definitely gives you an advantage, but when you're playing on a controller, you only have the distance that the thumbsticks can travel to make those adjustments. So when you're playing at a really high sensitivity, it can be difficult to line up something like a headshot. So what you can do is play at a higher sensitivity, but increase the height of the thumbsticks. That gives you more rotational distance to cover, which gives you more control, better accuracy. Being a newcomer to the scene, they only currently offer them in this black and orange configuration, but there are more colors coming soon. When you first interact with the thumbsticks, you'll notice that they're stiff, but still flexible, which is, you can tell they're trying to strike a balance between comfort and precision. Each package comes with two sets with different heights, and the increased height makes finite adjustments easier, but will take more getting used to. The increased surface area means your thumbs will stay in constant contact with the thumbsticks, and the raised edges help keep your thumbs centered. The grippy and rubberized texture is very reassuring, and the bumpy surface is there to reduce slippage from sweaty fingers. And aside from the gaming applications, these can also be used to protect your thumbs Sticks. If you've used a controller long enough, you'll know that that soft touch material on the top of the thumbsticks does wear down after a while. So if anything else, you can use this as a layer of protection. Once they wear out, you can just use the other two included in the package or order some brand new ones without having to get a whole new controller. They also offer this not only with Xbox, but for PlayStation 4 as well. I personally enjoyed my time with the ProHex thumb grips. The installation, unlike competitors that snap onto the top, these completely wrap around the thumbstick and they don't go anywhere. They're pretty hard to get on, but they are even harder to get off. They will not slip around. They are incredibly secure. If you're using them on a controller with removable thumbsticks, such as the Xbox One Elite, this process is made a little bit easier. Once they're on, you'll need to rotate them a little bit so they align with your thumbs. And again, if your thumbsticks remove, this process is also made a little bit easier. Now they are a newcomer to the scene, so you can give them the benefit of the doubt that they maybe haven't done a lot of internal testing yet. But the only claims I've noticed that they've made are on the packaging. It says control, accuracy, and comfort. Now comfort is obviously subjective. I personally like the way that the taller thumbsticks feel despite the fact that they take a little bit of getting used to. I also like the texture, but I don't really like the bumpiness of it. I understand that's there in case your hands get particularly sweaty, but mine really don't. So I don't really need that bumpy texture on top. It would be nice if they offered a version without that texture. They also advertised increased control and this is kind of measurable. They did add several things to the thumbstick that aren't there currently that will, in no subjective way, give you better control, but that's not really easy to test. The only thing that's quantifiable and testable is their claim to improved accuracy. So what I did was get used to the thumbsticks, first of all, because there is a bit of a learning curve. Then I played 20 games, 10 with the thumb grips on and 10 with the thumb grips off and I compared in several different categories my performance between the two sessions. My testing results showed that headshots increased by 1%, damage dealt increased by 6%, my KDA increased by 35%, and my win percentage even increased by 33%. But keep in mind those last two metrics are very heavily dependent on opponent skill and because I was playing an online matchmaking, those are going to change every single round. As a matter of fact, my performance increased in all areas except for one, accuracy, which is the one thing they claim on the packaging material. My accuracy actually decreased by 10%. Now I found this a little bit surprising considering how much more confident I felt with the thumb grips on. I felt like I was performing better and I felt more confident going into an interaction with an opposing player, but somehow my accuracy didn't reflect that. 
Now I have a few possible thoughts as to why that might be. First of all, they take a lot of getting used to. If you've played any number of first person shooters before, you'll know that changing your look sensitivity, for example, takes a long time to get acclimated to. You can't just play a game or two and think that you're gonna be acclimated to a new look sensitivity, especially if you play a lot. Now, I've been playing with a gamepad for 20 years now, and they all roughly have that same thumbstick height, so increasing it by a significant amount obviously takes a lot of time to get used to, and also is like changing the look sensitivity. And you can see my performance increasing with the grips across the testing period, while without the grips, my performance stayed the same. Accuracy was the only thing that decreased, but I think with a little bit more time, I'd eventually meet or exceed my current performance without the thumb grips. Ideally, you'd be playing with the same opponents, the same map, same everything, and you'd have many, many, many more test cases to compare to. So I really don't have the means to, to test to the extent where this would be super uh, conclusive data. I can only give you my experience. And my experience was my performance did increase for the most part. If I were a professional gamer already performing near the peak of my abilities, any small accessory that could give me even the slightest advantage over my opponents would be worth pursuing. But for your more casual gamer like myself, I don't see these making a drastic difference. You're not gonna put these on your thumbsticks and suddenly become a gaming god. However, they could still be worth considering if only for the ancillary benefits that they do objectively provide. Well, thanks for watching this video, guys. If you enjoyed this review, then go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And again, if you wanna purchase these on Amazon and use our affiliate links, we would definitely appreciate it. Also check out these other video reviews that we've done recently, gaming products, keyboards, mice, headsets, controllers, all that fun stuff. And don't forget to subscribe so you know when our newest content is ready to watch. And down in the video description as well, you will find links to our newest giveaways that we run basically every month. Thanks for watching, guys, and we'll catch you in the next one.